Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendaidukai and in this video I show you a workflow on how you can use the input of media notes even more efficiently and creatively. It's not just about the input but also about humanizing the groove and the shuffle. If you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, you will of course motivate me to produce more videos like this. Then let's get started. <laughs> When entering MIDI notes and especially notes for percussion, the same notes are often repeated and entered over and over again. I will show this by using hi-hats as an example. After a while this can be done quickly like this. The first method is create a clip, draw all notes individually. The second method is to create a clip, draw a note, Select the region with a mouse and then press Ctrl D to duplicate the region until the entire clip is filled. But there are other ways to do this more elegantly. The third method is to create a clip. Draw a note the same length as the clip. While holding the mouse down, drag the note in length. Up and down determines the intensity of the velocity. Right click and choose Slice in Place, then Beat Grid. Then select the note value and you're done. A fourth method is to create a clip. <laughs> Set the grid with a mouse or with a dot, comma or alt dot or comma keys for further subdivisions. Select the pen tool on the number 3 key. Hold down the alt key and click and hold the mouse button to drag the notes from left to right. As long as the mouse button is held down, the velocity can be changed and done. For all four variants, the note length can be changed uniformly by either marking all notes with a pointer tool of the mouse, or by clicking on the piano key on the far left on which all notes lie and then changing the note length. For example, if you only want every second 16th note, you could simply draw an 8 note and reduce the note length to 16 notes at the end. A fifth method would be to select a region with the time selection tool, consolidate this region with Ctrl J to create a clip, draw the one note or note pattern in this clip, loop the clip to the end, and again Ctrl J on the clip to consolidate it or to get a whole clip instead of the loops. Humanizing is actually always used to describe something imperfect when playing, and it is often associated with groove that doesn't always start correctly on the beat. I will show you this using the example of velocity, as this is probably used the most frequently. In Bitwig, there are also several ways to achieve this. Manually, by changing the velocity by hand, Secondly, in the inspector, by expanding the small triangle to the velocity, the histogram, and editing the velocity with the parameters chaos for randomness, scale for dynamics, and mean for the relative volume change. All parameters can be used again and again on the basis of the last set variant in order to find and adapt the right groove for you. Or thirdly, Leave everything to continuous randomness and turn up the percentage for the velocity spread in the inspector. Then a new value for the velocity is randomly determined each time the clip is played back. Or fourthly, if this is too much randomness for you, you can generate a fixed amount of random numbers for this clip by clicking on the word random in the seed function. The seed can then be copied and pasted for other clips so that the velocity groove can be transferred. This is one way to bring in humanizing and groove with a velocity. Another possibility is to select all nodes, then right click on quantize with the three dots. In my case, this is the shortcut Alt Q and in the pop-up window on the left set the size to which quantization should take place and on the top right hand side under humanize set a percentage of how many percent the notes are not set to 100% correctly. In other words, what percentage of the notes are set inaccurately? In other words, around the exact beat but not directly on it. 
The area on the bottom right hand side where start amount is 100% and end amount is 0% is still important. There you can see how quantizing affects the beginning of the node, the start amount and the end of the node, the end amount. With the start amount, the node is simply moved to the corresponding quantization point, which means it starts there and with the end amount, the node is simply made longer in case of doubt. Just try it out for yourself. The first important point for an imperfect, in other words, a humanized play, would be to not always set the beginning of the node exactly to the beginning, and with the start amount of 100%, we set exactly that. In the same window, a groove can be set as a percentage using the shuffle parameter, a so-called shuffled or swing groove. There are very small differences that are difficult to grasp and explain, but if you know this, please write it in the comments. Depending on the setting on the left-hand side, you can set then a 8th shuffle or a 16th shuffle, for example. With this shuffle function, you can basically set what you can also activate and set via the play pull down menu under groove. The big advantage or perhaps disadvantage, depending on which philosophy you follow, is that this method actually shifts the notes visually. Personally, I prefer to hear what I can see, because then I can change it here and there in every imaginable detail. And of course, I would be delighted if you gave the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video. So that's it again. My name is Odo Zendaidukai, thank you for your time and attention, and I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care, see you then. Ciao, ciao.